Hi everyone, this video is for firefighter recruits who are preparing for their OFAI stage one fact test. I'm going to be using the firefighter aptitude and character test um, candidate orientation guide. You can find this online. My copyright is 2019. So if you have the same copy, pull it out. Otherwise, what I'll do is I will share the question on the screen here so you can see it. If you have your copy, head to page 10 and start to look at the math question number 11. So for those of you who don't have it, go ahead and take a look at the question up on the screen. It says, if a fire engine is traveling 45 miles per hour for 18 minutes, how far will it travel? And then it provides you with the formula distance equals rate times time. Um, the question that I had come in was, how come this formula is not working? The student uh, took the, the speed, which is uh, the rate, so 45. He multiplied it by the time, which is 18. He got a 810 that wasn't the right answer. So the reason why it doesn't work is because they're not giving you the steps you need to finish the problem. And when I looked at the question, I realized that there is an issue with the time because your rate is in hours and the time given is in minutes. So that's where you need to do the work. So how are we going to do that? What I suggest is toss the formula and use rate and proportion because this is what you're working with anyway. Um, and it makes your numbers easier to, to work with and see. So um, the way you set up your rate is you're going to put 45 miles over one hour. So I'm right here for those of you who are following along. And then um, your proportion is equivalent. So X is your distance that we need to determine over 18 minutes, which is provided. So now when we set it up this way, you can see that we have the problem. We've got hours and we have minutes and we can't have that. We have to have the units to be the same on that line there. So we're going to convert our hours into 60 minutes. So now we have 45 miles over 60 minutes equals X over 18 minutes. That is appropriate, okay? Miles over minutes equals miles over minutes. From there, you cross multiply your two known numbers, which is 45 times 18. That gives you the 810 that you had. And then the last step is to divide that by 60. That's going to give you 13.5, which is the correct answer. Okay, so again, just to recap, if you see a question that gives a rate and a proportion or another number with the same unit in the rate, write it as a rate and proportion question and then solve it that way, regardless of the formula that it's giving you. Um, just remember that there are other ways to solve math problems. And if you find one that works for you, stick with it. Okay, my name is Luann and I own Smart Tutoring and Test Preparation Services. If you have any questions about the questions you're working on in your firefighter test preparation resources, send them my way. I likely have the book. If I don't have the book, just send me the questions and the um, answer options and I'm happy to do a video for you to help you out. And hopefully it will assist you in getting one more mark on that test that you're trying to pass. If you have any further questions or if you want to start working with me to pass your next firefighter aptitude test, please send me an email. I'm happy to work with you. Thank you and have a smart day.